Philosophy plays an important role in politics. At its core, politics is about how societies are organized and governed, and philosophical theories provide the framework for understanding and evaluating these systems. Political philosophy is the study of fundamental questions about the state, government, politics, liberty, justice, property, rights, law, and the enforcement of a legal, legal code by authority. What they are, why, or even if they are needed, what makes a government legitimate, what rights and freedoms it should protect, and why, what form it should take, and why, what the law is, and what Jewish citizens owe to a legitimate government, if any, and when it may be legitimately overthrown, if ever. In a vernacular sense, the term political philosophy often refers to a general view or specific ethic, belief, or attitude about politics that does not necessarily belong to the technical discipline of philosophy. Three central concerns of political philosophy have been the political economy by which property rights are defined and access to capital is regulated, the demands of justice in distribution and punishment, and the rules of truth and evidence that deter determine judgments in the law. History of political philosophy, ancient period, as an academic discipline, Western political philosophy has its origins in ancient Greek society, when city-states were exper experimenting with various forms of political organization, including monarchy, tyranny, aristocracy, olig oligarchy, and democracy. The first classic work of political philosophy is Plato's The Republic which was followed by Aristotle's politics. Roman political philosophy was influenced by the Stoics, and the Roman statesman Cicero wrote on political philosophy. Independently, Confucius, Mencius, Mozi, and the legal school in China, and the laws of Manu and, the, and Chanakya and in India, also to find means of restoring political unity and stability. In the case of the former three through the cultivation of virtue, in the last by imposition of discipline, in India, Kotilya in his Arthashastra developed a viewpoint which recalls both the legalist and the and Machiavelli. Ancient Chinese and Indian civilization resembled Greek in that three in that there was a unified culture divided into rival states. In the case of China, philosophers found them themselves obliged to confront social and political breakdown and seek solutions to the crisis that confronted their entire civilization. The early Christian philosophy of Augustine of Hippo was by and large a rewrite of Plato in a Christian context. The main change that Christian thought brought was to moderate the Stoicism and theory of justice of the Roman world, and emphasized the role of the state in applying mercy as a moral example. Augustine's The City of God is an influential, influential work of this period that refuted the thesis after the first sack of Rome that the Christian view could be realized on earth at all, a view many Christian Romans held. Islamic period. The rise of Islam based on both the Quran and the political philosophy of Muhammad strongly altered the power balance and perceptions of origin of power in the Mediterranean region. Early Muslim philosophy emphasized an inexorable link between science and religion, and the plus of Ichaidad to find truth. In effect, all philosophy was political as it had real implication for governance. This view was challenged by the Mutazilite philosophers who held a more Greek view and were supported by secular arts, aristocracy who sought freedom of action independent of the mosque. 
by the medieval period. However, the Ashraite view of Islam had in general triumphed. Medieval period. Medieval political philosophy in Europe was heavily, heavily influenced by Christian thinking. It had much in common with Islamic thinking in that the Roman Catholics are also subordinated philosophy to theology. Perhaps the most influential political philosopher of the medieval period was St. Thomas Aquinas, who helped reintroduce, reintroduce Aristotle's works which had been preserved in the interim only by the Muslims. Aquinas' use of them set the agenda for scholastic political philosophy and dominated European thought for centuries. The most influential work, however, was that which ended this period, that being Niccolo Machiavelli's The Prince circa 1532. It is that work and the discourses, a rigorous analysis of the classical period from which modern political philosophy is largely derived. Enlightenment period. During the Enlightenment period, new truths about human psychology, the discovery of other societies in the Americas, and the changing needs of political societies, especially in the wake of the English Civil War, uh, the American Revolution, and the French Revolution, led to new questions and insights by such thinkers as John Jackson Rousseau, Thomas Hobbes, Montesquieu, and John Locke, known by most for his influential theory of the social contract. These theories were tri driven by two basic questions, by what right or need do people form states and what is the best form for a state. These large questions involve conceptual distinction between state and government. Basically, state refers to a set of enduring institutions through which power is distributed and its use justified. Government refers to a specific group of people who occupy this institution and exercise particular policies. This conceptual Conceptual distinction continues to operate in political science, although some political scientists, philosophers, historians, and cultural anthropologists have argued that most political action in any given society occurs outside of its state, and that there are societies that are not organized into states which nevertheless must be considered politically. Political and economic relations were drastically changed by these views as the guild was subordinated to free trade and Roman Catholic dominance of theology was increasingly challenged by Protestant churches subordinated to each nation state and which preach in the vulgar of or native language of each region. In the Ottoman Empire, these reforms did not take place and these views did, did not spread until much later. Also, there was no contact with the New World and the advanced civilizations of the Aztec, Maya, Inca, Mohican, Delaware, Horn, and especially the Iroquois, who gave a great boost to Christian thought and in many cases actually inspired some of the institutions ad adopted in the United States. For example, Benjamin Franklin was a great admirer of some of the methods of the Iroquois Confederacy and much of early American literature emphasized the political philosophy of the natives. Industrialization in the early modern age. The Industrial Revolution, revolution produced a parallel revolution in political thought. Urbanization and capitalism, capitalism greatly reshaped society. During this same per period, the social, socialist movement began to form. In the mid-19th century, Marxism was developed and socialism in general gained increasing popular support, mostly from the urban working class. By the late 19th century, socialism and trade unions were established members of the political landscape. In addition, the various branches of anarchism and syndicalism also gained some prominence. World War I was, was a watershed event in human history. The Russian Revolution of 1917 and some similar, albeit less successful, revolution in many other European countries 
brought communism. And in particular, the political theory of Leninism, but also on a small, smaller level, Luxem Luxembourg, uh, Lux Luxembourgs gradually on the world stage. At the same time, social democratic parties won, won elections and formed governments for the first time, often as a, as a result of the introduction of universal suffrage. In response to the swe swe sweeping social changes that occurred in the years after the war, all the reactionary ideologies such as fascism began to take shape. In particular, the rise of the Nazis in Germany would later lead to the Second World War. All political thought was deeply affected by the Great Depression, which le led many tourists to reconsider the ideas they had previously held as axiomatic. In the United States, President Franklin, Franklin D. Roosevelt introduced the New Deal. In Europe, both the extreme left and the extreme right gained increasing popular, popularity. Contemporary political philosophy. After World War II, political philosophy moved into a temporary e eclipse in the Anglo-American academic world as analytic philosophers express skepticism about the possibility that normative judgments had cognitive content and political science turn, turned towards st statistically methods and behavioralism. The 1950s saw pronouncements of the death of the discipline followed by the debates about that thesis. A handful of continental European immigrants to Britain and the United States, including, including Hannah Arendt, Karl Popper, Friedrich Hayek, Louis Strauss, Isaiah Berlin, Eric Bowdlin, and Judith Scar encouraged continued to study in the field, but in the 1950s and 60s, they had, they and their students remained somewhat marginal in their dis disciplines. Communism remained an important focus, during, especially during the 1950s and 60s. Zionism, race, racism, and colonial, colonialism were important issues that arose. In general, there was a marked trend towards a pragmatic approach to political issues, rather than a police, philosophical one. Much academic debate regarded one or both of two pragmat pragmatic topics how or whether to apply utilitarianism to, to problems of political policy or how or whether to apply economic model, models such, such as rational choice theory to political issues. The rise of feminism and the end of colonial rule and uh, pol of the political exclusion of such minorities as African Americans in the developed world has led to feminist Post-colonial multicultural, multi multicultural thought becoming significant. In Anglo-American academic political philosophy, that the publication of John Rawls' A Theory of Justice in 1971 is considered a milestone. Rawls used a thought experiment the original position in which representative parties choose principles of justice for the basic structure of society from behind a veil of ignorance. Rawls also offered a criticism of utilitarian, uh, utilitarian approaches to questions of political justice. Robert Nozick's bo book, Anarchy, State and Utopia, responded to Rawls from a libertarian perspective. Contemporary with analytic ethics-oriented work in Anglo-American thought within Euro Europe's Euro Europe, uh, several new lines of philosophy directed at critics of existing societies arose between the 1950s and 1980s. Many of these took elements of Marx's Mar Mar economic, uh, economic analysis but combined them with a more cultural or ideological emphasis. Out of the Frankfurt School, thinkers like Herbert Marcuse, Theodore W. Adorno, Max Herk Hammer and Georgian Habermas combined Marxian and Freudian perspective. Along somewhat different lines, 
a number of other continental thinkers still largely influenced by Marxism put, put new emphasis on structuralism and on, a, on, on, and on a return to Hegel. Within the post-structuralist line, though mostly not taking that, that la la uh, label, are thinkers such as G Gilles Deleuze, Michel Foucault, Claude Lefort, and Jean, Bordel Bo uh, Jean Baudrillard. The situationists were more influenced by Hegel, Guy Debord in particular moved Marx's uh, analysis of commodity fetishism to, to the real realm of conception and look at the relation between cons consumerism and dominant ideology formation. Another debate developed around the distinct criticism of liberal political theory made by Bernard Williams and Charles Taylor. The liberalism commune Communitarianism debate is often considered valuable for generating a new set of, philosophic, of, of philosophic, philosophical problems rather than a profound and illuminating clash of perspective. Today, some debates regarding punishment and law center on the questions of natural law and the degree to which human constraints on actions are determined by nature as revealed by science in particular. Other debates focus on questions of culture and gen gender identity as central to politics. Influential political philosophers. A larger list of philosophers is intended to be closer to its positive. Lists below are a few of the most canonical or important thinkers, and especially philosophers whose central focus was in political philosophy and who are good representatives of a particular school of Confucius, the first thinker to relate the ethics to political order. Chanakya, founder of an independent political thought in India, laid down rules and guidelines for social law and political order in society. Mozi, a phenomenal founder of the Mois school, advocate of the strict Ultiranese, Socrates, named they their practice of inquiry philosophy and thereby stand at the end of a permanent open called Western tradition of systematic intellectual analysis, set as a partial basis to that tradition, the relation between knowledge on the one hand and the ages a good society on the other. Socrates is widely considered founder of Western vertical philosophy via his book influence on Athenian contemporaries since Socrates never wrote anything, much of what we know about him and his teaching comes through his most famous student, Plato. Aristotle wrote his politics as an extension of his Nicomachean ethics, notable for the theories that humans are social animals and that the police existed to bring about the good luck appropriate to such animals. His political theory is based upon an ethics of perfectionism. <clears throat> Mencius, one of the most important thinkers in Confucian school, is the first theorist to make a coherent argument for an obligation of rulers to the rule. Han Yezi, the major figure of the Chinese fire legalist school advocated government that adhered to laws and a strict method of administration. Niccolo Machiavelli, first systematic analysis of how consent of a populace is negotiated between and among rulers rather than the simply innaturalistic. Given of the structure of society, procusor to the concept of ideology and articulating the Cosmological structure of commands and law. Thomas Hobbes, generally considered to have first articulated how the concept of a so social contract that justifies the actions of rulers, even where every contrary to the individual desires of governed citizens can be reconciled with 
a conception of severity. Benedict Spinoza set forth for the first analysis of rational egoism, in which the rational interest of self is conformance with pure reason to Spinoza's thinking in society which each individual is guided of reason. Political authority would be superfluous. John Locke, like Hobbes, described a social contract theory based on citizen fundamental rights in the state of nature. He departed from Hobbes in that based on the assumption of society which moral values are independent of governmental authority and widely shared, he argued for a government with parliamented to the protection of professional property. His argument may have been deeply influential to the formation of the United States Constitution. Baron de Montesi Analyze protection of liberty by a balanced powers in the division of the state. David Hume Hume criticized the social contract theory of John Locke and others as resting on a myth of some actual agreement. Hume was a realist in re recognizing the role of force to forge the existence of the state and that consent of the governed was merely hypothetical. Jean Jacques Rose analyzed the social contract as an expression of the general will and controversy argued in favor of absolute democracy where the people at large would act as sovereign. Immanuel Kant argued that participation in civil society is undertaken not for self-preservation as per Thomas Hobbes but as a moral duty. Postmodern thinker who fully analyzed structure and meaning of obligation argued that an international organization was needed to preserve world peace. Adam Smith, often said to have founded modern economics, explained the emergence of economics benefits from the self-interested behavior of artisan and traders. While praising its efficiency, Smith also expressed concern about the effects of industrial labor on workers. His works on moral sentiment sought to explain social bound outside the economic sphere. Thomas Plain, Enlightenment writer who defended liberal democracy, the American Revolution, and French Revolution in common sense and right of man. <coughs> Jeremy Bentham, the first thinker to analyze social justice in terms of maximization of aggregate individual benefits founded the philosophical school of thought known as Utilia de Ranice. John Stuart Mill oh. John Stuart Mill John Stuart Mill a utilitarian and the person who named the system he goes further than Bentham by laying the foundation for liberal democratic thought in general and modern, as opposed to classical liberalism in particular, articulated the place of individual liberty in an otherwise utilitarian framework. Karl Marx, in large part, added the historical dimension to an understanding of society, culture, and economics. Created the concept of ideology in the sense of true or false believes that the shape and control social actions analyze the fundamental nature of class as mechanisms of governance and social interaction. John Dewey, co-founder of pragmatism and analyzed the essential role of education in the maintenance of the democratic government. Antonio Gramsci instigated the concept hegemony and social formation. He used the ideas of Marx, Engels, Spinoza, and other within so-called dominant ideology thesis. The ruling ideas of society are the ideas of its rulers. Herbert Marcus, one of the principal thinkers with the Frankfurt School and generally important in efforts to use the thought of Freud Marx introduced the concept of repressive 
and sublimation in which the self control can operate and not only be direct control but also by manipulation of desire. Analyze the role of advertising and propaganda and social consensus. Frederick Hayek Advance an analysis under which any collectivism could only be maintained by a central authority. Advocate free market capitalism in which the sole of role of the state was to maintain the rule of law. Anna Arendt Analyze the roots of totalitarianism and introduce the concept of the banality of evil. How ordinary technocratic rationality comes to deplorable creation brought distinct elements of an revision to the philosophy of Martin Heger into political thought. John Rawls revitalized the study of normative political philosophy in Anglo-American University with his 1971 book, A Theory of Justice, which uses a version of social contract theory to answer fundamental questions about justice and criticize totalitarianism. Robert Nozick criticized Rawls and argued for libertarianism by appeal to hypothetical history of the state and the real history of property.